welcome back, everyone. Get ready to turn up the heat in the kitchen with the perfect caramelized crust and velvety custard dessert that will have you craving more. Here to satisfy your sweet tooth with creme brulee is Baker Jyoti Nanra. Hey. You're as sweet as the creme brulee, really and truly, and an incredible baker. So creme brulee to me, it sounds like, it sounds very special. It sounds like a lot of work, like the thing you order at the restaurant, but you don't make at home. Is it a ton it's of work? Not, I know I always say it's not, but this one really isn't. It's very doable. It's very doable, and if you mess up a little bit, it's always delicious. So I feel like creme brulee is one of those things, the more you make it, the better you get at making it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this will be my first go, so I'll just have to make it You're many, 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 many more times. A million percent. So okay. with creme brulee, because it's so few ingredients, we mm -hmm. want to make each of those ingredients count. Simply yeah. because you want those ingredients to shine, right? Right. So we're using a good cream. I've infused my cream with um, like the pod of my vanilla bean, a little mm -hmm. bit of coffee beans overnight. So I did a cold infusion overnight, and then I did a heated infusion. So I've never you heard get, of that. Oh, it's so good. So the cold infusion, you get like like delicate notes of that coffee, and then when yeah. you heat it, you get like that stronger. Mm -hmm. So it's just so good with all that vanilla. Nice. And then I double infuse my creme brulee. So I'll do uh, vanilla bean, so the inside mm -hmm. of the vanilla bean, and then uh, vanilla extract because all the flavor counts here. And it's, you, this is like creme brulee is French, right? It's French. We know the French don't mess around with no, their ingredients. No. Like, just do it right. Yes. Full fat cream. Always. Always. Yes. Okay, good stuff. Okay, so I've got my cream heated up here. I'm actually going to turn this guy off. There Even the go. way it looks is beautiful, though. Those uh, coffee beans in there. Do you smell that? I it smell smells it. so good. So I um, infuse this overnight, cold in the fridge, yeah. and then I just heated it. And you can see my vanilla bean pot is in there as well. Yeah. So before we start our tempering process, all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to strain this. Yeah, you want to get everything out of there that you don't want in your uh, creme brulee. Exactly. Get rid yeah. of those coffee and beans. And we are going to do a double strain on this anyway, but it's nice to just eliminate that. So we want it to be super smooth in yes. the end. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to have you help me do this. Okay. So we're going to do something right now in a second called the tempering process. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that's good. Right? I would just drink that. <laughs> so oh. I have uh, egg yolks here. Creme brulee is made with only egg yolks. Egg yolks are the richest part of the egg. Okay. So they are the perfect base for egg any custard. And what's the black stuff? That is the inside of my vanilla bean. Got it. Yeah. And then I'm going in with salt because you always need salt when you're baking just to balance out all that sweetness. Yep. And then we've got our vanilla in there. Nice. So now this is just our custard base. You want to give this a pretty good whisk. You want to break all of those little bits of vanilla bean. Yeah. And now this is where if you can have someone help you, have someone help you unless you know how to do this. So this is what we call tempering the egg yolks. Right. So it's tempering them because we slowly add in our cream so that we don't scramble our egg yolks. Right. So we're gonna start. <laughs> we're gonna it's start creme by not scrambled eggs. Exactly. And we want to whisk. It's yes. We want to whisk while we pour. So I need you're an never assistant gonna... to clean up my mess. And now you can. Am go... I going too fast? No, you can go heavier now because. Okay. We've introduced that hot cream into our yolks. Yeah. So at this point, you can actually just go ahead and... So it's all about the temperature, and that's why you've got to exactly. go a bit slow. And now you can just pour it all right in. Nice. Amazing. And now we have that mixed up beautifully. Amazing. Okay. Thank you very much, Jyoti. Okay, so now we have this beautiful uh, custard. We do. So creme brulee is all about smooth custard. Because it's so basic, we want all the elements to be perfect. Okay. So sometimes egg yolks naturally have little clumpy bits in them. It's very normal for eggs. Yep. We're going to go ahead and do a double strain on this. So it might be normal for eggs, but it's not normal for this recipe. So we're getting rid of them. We're getting rid of them. Strain it all out. Exactly. And you're going to see some of that. Do you see those yeah. little... I do. Yellow bits right there. Yeah. So that creates a very grainy creme brulee. We don't want that. Right. We want it to be smooth. Very smooth. Okay. I'm going to show you my favorite trick. So show me your trick. Generally, we like creme brulee that doesn't have air bubbles in it. I know. I know. Okay. Very gentle. Very gentle. Okay. This is going to get rid of your air oh, bubbles. Oh, you're getting rid of the bubbles. So that when they bake, your bubbles yeah. don't bake into your creme brulee. You want a nice fluid custard. You are way too comfortable with that. 
<laughs> like, do you see? She's just like, bah, bah, that's, my, that's my favorite party trick. But the blowtorch, I love it. Good okay. for you. Do you okay, want to so, do this part? Yeah, I will. But first, I just want to show you the pretty, the prettiest ramekins. Like, come on. <laughs> Only Jyoti Nanra has beautiful blush pink uh, ramekins. Yes, I will do it. Amazing. You can go ahead and divide them. Do you care? Them. Do, is there a, okay, you do good. it however you want to do it. Got it. So Beautiful. divide them pretty much equally. Yeah, so you could do that in four if you wanted. I usually do three, so everyone gets a nice big serving of creme brulee. I just want to know how but much I should be filling this up. You can fill them up all the way. They don't rise or anything. Okay. They bake as a solid custard, so you can Good. literally divide them. And then... Oh, it's smelling good. It so good. Okay. Beautiful. Easily and then divided. we're going to do that little thing again because we have those little air bubbles. And this is just going to get rid of all nice. of those. So the bubbles, what? Is it just going to mess up the texture? Yeah, they is just bake. And then you have like little yeah. like dents in your actual creme brulee, which is, yes. it's just a very visual it's thing. It's imperfect. Right? We're leaving the imperfections for the wabi-sabi, not for this recipe. <laughs> OK, then we're going to go ahead. I'm not going to do this right now, but you're going to pour in water yeah. so that your ramekins are just about an inch covered uh, with water because we want them to bake in that warm water bath. Got it. Yeah. They and go why in, are they baking in the water bath? So that they don't overheat and that custard doesn't overcook and get rubbery. Okay. The water bath is going to help them cook very gradually. And we bake them low and slow at 300 Fahrenheit for about 35 to 40 minutes. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we bring them out. They are perfection. We have, yeah, they're beautiful. But there's another part to this. So we want to bring these here. Yes. Okay, this is my favorite part, truly. A little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. What does the sugar do? So the sugar is going to caramelize and form that shell that we all love on our creme brulee so, so much. Nice. I'll do one. Yeah. And if you feel like doing one. I'm going to blow torch. You can blow torch. Wasn't I'll on my bingo card for work today, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch your um, technique here. Is there something satisfying about it? I love it. So you're basically like, what's happening right now? So all we're the sugar, sugar, we're burning sugar essentially. Yeah. And that's what creates that nice, super crispy, crunchy shell. And what I love about it is mm -hmm. creme brulee is so delicate and it's so sweet, but, oh, this was yours. It's addictive, okay, you, isn't it? You got it, okay, I'm gonna. So you just turn it on for me. You're and I'll good. go for it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to make this at home just so I can burn some stuff in my kitchen. <laughs> Like, this feels really good. Doesn't it? OK, so, Ams, how much time do we have? Uh, just crack it. Just <laughs> How do I turn it off, Joe? OK, thank you. <laughs> there we go. My smoking. OK, so this is all I see on social media. People cracking that creme brulee. It shatters. It's beautiful. So we have to do, oh, there it is. We got to do the crack. Are you ready? Well, let's see if our camera's on. There we go. Yeah, and ready? Oh yeah. The crack is complete. Can I? Oh my god, it's amazing. With like the burnt sugar. Oh my god. Cityline.tv for this recipe. So good. More